Yeah, it's chilly here. Let's take a look at the homework for tutorial 13 of Intermediate. Um, my task to you was to create a ghost effect for our sprite. So what I've done here is I have copied another version, another set of functions for draw sprite here. Now we got draw sprite ghost. And the uh, the parameters are going to be exactly the same as the parameters for draw sprite because we're not pass we only need the go the chroma value. We don't need any other parameter here. Uh, so we do that, and then we copy out a set for here. Uh, we also probably want to do uh, draw sprite ghost for all of these to make them obviously link up to the stuff in the header file. So we do that ghost, and there we go. All right, so how are we going to accomplish this? Well, if you think about what is happening when you see the ghost effect, what you're seeing is you're seeing some of the pixels from the sprite and some of the pixel from below the sprite. You're seeing them both kind of getting mixed together, and that is how you see that, that transparent, translucent effect there. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to be able to mix two colors together, the color uh, of the pixel that we're trying to draw and the color of the pixel that is already there on the screen. So that means we need to be able to get the color of the pixel that's already there. So first we check to see if we're drawing a pixel at all. If we are, then let's do constant uh, color, gra mm, is it color destination pixel is equal to gfx.get uh, oh, we aren't the G, we aren't, we are the graphics. This is the graphics object. So we don't type dfx, gfx dot, we just type get pixel. Yeah. And then, hmm. all right, this isn't, this isn't a, our get pixel. This is, uh, this is Windows actually. So that's weird. Uh, it doesn't look like we actually have a get pixel function. That's funny. I thought I put one in there. But it looks like I haven't. So that's that's easy enough. We can just you know put in a get pixel function here. It just returns a color, get pixel, and you want to pass it the, the place where you want to get the pixel from. This one isn't going to change anything, so we can make it const. And let's just copy that toggle header code file. Let's go where get pixel is. Where is it? Put put pixel. I mean. That is where put pixel is. We are going to add some colon cancer to this motherfucker. And there you go. Get pixel. Now, get pixel is going to operate a lot like put pixel, except instead of writing to somewhere on the screen, it is going to read from somewhere. So we're just going to return. Um, no, we need the psys buffer there. Sys, yeah, there we go return that and we're not going to make it equal to anything and there you go you've got your get pixel function all sorted that wasn't so hard now was it now we want to get pixel and get pixel is going to be let's create a few other constants here we're going to go constant int uh, x destination is equal to and that is going to be this one i believe Source rect. Yeah, that seems about right. And constant int y destination is equal to. Yeah, we'll just copy this. Put that in there. So now we can pre calculate our x destination or y destination. We get the pixels from x dest and y dest. And now comes the fun part. We've got to mix that shit together. So let's do uh, constant color blended pixel is equal to color and like that. All right, so we could just do, you know, that, that would be fine as well. Now, we're gonna have unsigned signed cars. And how do we mix two pixels together? I mean, well, first let's think about how we would mix two numbers together. If you want to mix a number and another number, you want to get a number that is intermediate between the two numbers, you take the average, which is you add them together and you divide by two. Now, a color isn't a single number. It's three numbers, right? Red, green, blue. 
But all we have to do is mix the corresponding numbers between the two colors. So for red, we take the average of their two reds. For green, we take the average of their two greens. Same for blue. So to do that, we just do, uh, let's see here. So we do destination pixel dot get r plus source pixel dot get r and we're going to want to divide that shit by two so we'll divide by two and there you go we've got our first channel now to get the rest of them we just got to paste paste we can get rid of this if we like to we can put a semicolon there you can dance if you want to we don't we can't select them all and change them because they all got to be different so this one's going to be g this one's going to be b and here we got it we got a g that's not a g that's a b that would be a problem that would be a problem unsigned car there we go we got our blended pixel now and all we got to do is instead of writing the source pixel now we just write the blended pixel and hopefully this will work i have um I have hopes for it, but we need to actually put it in somewhere where it's being used. So animation, mm, the one that's being used, the, the draw function that's normally being used is this one right here. So instead of draw sprite, we're just going to do draw sprite ghost. And it, it likes it, it doesn't hate it. So now if we build, Crossing fingers, crossing Jordan. Let me just change something here first. Oh, and uh, capture software, fuck me again. Go into our good old friend game.cpp. Let's just put the uh, the text, we'll draw it before we draw link, and that way we can see link, uh, we can see the text through link, hopefully, if everything works properly. All right, let's build that again, and Becky, let me, s mm, 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 that's not good. All right, so, why are you not drawing with the proper effect? Never forget the dangers of copy-paste. So we copy and pasted these guys here, these uh, wrapper functions and this function, and we changed the names, but the wrapper functions are calling another function. We didn't change that one, did we? So, ghost, please call ghost. Who you gonna call? You gonna call them Ghostbusters. So we run that. And now, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. You can see, you can see, yeah. Uh, Link shining through the sprite here. No, wait. You can see the font shining through Link. That's better. And there you go, you got your ghost effect. All sorted. Now, you might be looking at this and saying, Chili, we're getting a fuck ton of draw sprite functions in here. I mean, do we gotta add three functions for every different effect we wanna use? And to that I say, hold that thought, because I got something coming in the next video that I think will be relevant to your interests. But until then, uh, I'm Chili, and I'll see you soon with some more C++.